Hello, my name is Katie Rushworth and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool little bird feeder. It's really simple and easy to make. We've made ours out of softwood pine, but you could make it out of old pallets if you have them. And then in the middle we've chosen this old wine bottle, but again you could use a gin bottle if you have it, or even maybe an old champagne bottle if you have it lying around the house. The tools you will need are some softwood pine, a tape measure for measuring, a wooden mallet, a thin chisel, pin hammer, some paint brushes if you choose to paint it, it's up to you, some pins, clamps, jigsaw, a tenon saw, drill, hole saws, set square, sanding block, some glue and of course my wine bottle. First up we're going to make the roof. Now we've got a 12 by 2 centimetre bit of timber but it's important to know if you're using a bigger bottle than the wine bottle you want the sides to be as wide as your chosen bottle is. I'm going to measure 32 centimetres along my piece of timber. That's here. And then half of that is 16. There we go. And then using this really nifty jigsaw, which is set at a 45 degree angle, I'm going to cut down the middle and that's going to give me a nice mitre joint. Now I've got the two sides of my roof, I'm going to just give them a light sand to take off any rough bits. And then using wood glue, I'm going to join them together. and then applying a little bit of pressure to the two mitre joints for about 10 seconds just so it starts to hold and I'll pop it to one side. Now I'm going to measure up for the sides. A standard wine bottle is 30 centimetres but we need a little bit of room at the top and the bottom so I'm going to make mine 38. Now I'm going to cut that on a mitre so at the top here it has this lovely join where the sides meet the roof. Now I've cut my sides I want to mark out where these little grooves are going to go and they're going to hold the ply in place like a set of runners and that will enable me to get my bottle in and out. I'm going to use my bottle as a guide so I know that I'm going to have a bit of timber on the bottom about the same thickness. I need to leave some room here. So I'm going to put one groove there, just hold the neck in place, and one groove about two thirds of the way up the bottle, and that will kind of hold it in place, stop it wobbling around. Now, a tip at this point is to make sure that you mark up for your grooves on the inside of the timber because we want this kind of mitre joint to make sure it's in exactly the right place. So it's this part of the timber so the roof can sit on here. Okay. One there. One there and then do exactly the same on the other piece. Now my ply I'm going to use is 5mm. So in order to have enough room for it to slide in out easily I'm using a 6mm thin chisel. And I'm going to go back to the lines that I've drawn on and using the thin chisel, apply some pressure and that's going to give me my score mark. Okay, so you can just see there, 
I've got two lines. And that's my guide for when I make my cuts. Before I cut my grooves, I'm going to mark out how deep I want them to be. So I'm going to use the blade of the chisel for that. And I'm going to just mark down to there. And then again on here to there. Now to cut these out using my tenant saw. Now I'm going to use my 6mm chisel to chisel those bits of wood away. And you just go back in stages, small notches at a time. And then using my chisel horizontally, you can just kind of pop those bits. Timber out. And there you have your groove. That's one down, three to go. Now my sides are all finished, it's time to make the bottom. And I've just got a bit of the same timber and using the wine bottle, I want to leave some room on either side and I'm going to measure about there, cut that down, but you don't need to use a mitre joint this time. That leaves me with a bit of timber like this. So that's my base. And using some three by one batten, I've made some side rails and that's going to ensure that the bird seed doesn't fall out. And it's starting to take shape. I just need to attach everything together using glue and pins. I'm going to use my clamp just to hold that in place. I don't want to put it too tight, just a little bit of pressure because if it's too tight it will pull the tops in and be uneven. I'm going to use my set square to make sure that's nice and square. That's going to go to one side to dry while we make some holes in our ply. Now the sides are drying it's time to make the sliders and these are really important because they enable the bottle to be taken out and put back in filled with bird seed. I've just made them out of five mil ply and to get the measurements I've measured from groove to groove and then front to back and cut them down to size. And then I also want to make two holes, a smaller one at the bottom that's going to hold the neck and a larger one at the top that's going to hold the body. And to mark the centres, I'm going to use my set square from corner to corner. And I've got two centres and I'm going to use the hole saw in order to be able to make my circles. In order to make the circles the right size, I've measured the top neck of the bottle and the bottom and then I've got some hole saws the right size, so this is 7.6 and this is 3.2. Now I've put my ply on a bit of sacrificial timber so when I cut through it won't damage the table. And I'll just find the centre point. Gone straight through, so now I just need to do my large size. 
and that's our two sliders finished. Now to assemble. Now my glue is dry, I can attach the battens to the side. And to do that I'm just going to use pins. So I've got one in the top but I'm going to put one in the bottom of each as well. Now I'm going to put just another couple in the sides just to be really secure. Last one. Now I can put my sliders in. And then last but not least, it's my roof. And I'm just going to glue that into position. Okay. Now that that's all together, it's time to put my bird seed in the bottle. A tip, however, is to put a bit of sellotape over the end once that's full, and that will keep the seed in place when you turn the bottle upside down to slide it in. So that slides into place, and then once it's in place, you can remove the sellotape and your seeds will fall, and it should. Look like this, I'm really pleased with the results. I've painted it a lovely blue and grey which matches my shed at home. There's something really nice about the birds coming to something in the garden that you've made yourself. You can paint it any colour you like, so it'll be really creative. And the other great thing is it's fully recyclable, there's no plastic, so it's all the timber and glass. For more how-to videos, visit silverlinetools.com.